Joining us now is the mayor of Superior, Colorado, Clint Folsom. Mayor Folsom, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. I know it's been a difficult 24 hours for your entire community. In that town, I want to start with forced to evacuate. You yourself had to evacuate from your own home. Some 13,000 people, almost no time to gather belongings before they had to run to safety. What's the latest on the ground right now? When I left town last night at around 10 o'clock, um, it was still on fire. And uh, it, it is a very grave situation there. I spent a couple of hours yesterday driving around uh, in the afternoon with the sheriff's office and town manager just to uh, make an assessment of the situation there on the ground. And it's it's grave. It's it's nothing like I would have ever imagined would have happened. You call it a grave situation. Any reports of injuries, fatalities, or, or people unaccounted for in your community? You know, not as of yet, but I, I have a feeling that just given the speed with which this moved through, um, the um, you know law enforcement agencies from all around our area um, quickly came into town to assist our sheriff's office to. Um, get people to evacuate, but you know, at the end of the day, it's up to people to um, to heed that advice and to get out. And um, there are literally hundreds of homes that burned up in in a matter of minutes. And um, I, I'm I hope we don't have fatalities. I, I don't have any reports on that yet, but I'm it, it, I'm, I'm fearful of what we might find in the in the days and and days afterwards here. You noted those homes destroyed some 600 that, that we're aware of in Superior alone. The fire sweeping through so quickly, wind gusts reported above 100 miles per hour. Describe the scene as it was happening, and can you give us a sense of the devastation you're seeing this morning? You know, high, high wind events are not too unusual in in Colorado, in the Front Range, or really all, all across the state, in, in the, uh, particularly in the winter months. But this was a wind like I've never seen, and, and it, it's just rare that it will top 100 miles an hour in the area. And these were sustained winds, and we've had an extraordinarily dry fall, well, dry summer and then dry fall. And those two combinations were just um, were just the um, unperfect situation to uh, create um, this disastrous situation. Well, Mayor Folsom, our hearts go out to the people in your town. We thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.